Hello there. My name is David Lurch. I'm a distance learning teacher in Marissa, Illinois. I'm a Google for Education certified trainer, certified coach, as well as a leader in the Global GEG, Southern Illinois GEG, and co-host of the EdTech Distilled podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can utilize sheets for differentiation in your lesson. This relates to differentiation in Google Classroom. Many teachers are looking for simple ways to include differentiation into their lessons. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use Google Sheets and Google Classroom to begin differentiation before you start your lesson, how you can implement differentiation in your actual lesson itself, and finally, what you can do to differentiate future lessons before starting differentiation, an easy way to set up your classroom in order for differentiation to occur is by breaking your students into small group. In this case, I've created a Google form with one question. That question is, how do you learn best? Since I have my Google form titled, how do you learn best? I want to share it with my students in Google Classroom. So I've navigated to the Classwork tab and created an assignment. In this case, I've given them a simple title of survey, and I'm going to add it as a link like so paste my link in, add it, and I will post this to my students so that they can quickly take this survey and I can start the differentiation process. Now I've created my Google form. I've added it to my Google Classroom and posted it as an assignment for my students to complete. And I've created a response sheet from my Google form that's generated in Google Sheets. And as you can see, the students so far that have filled this out have chosen these as the way that they learn best. Now I wanna sort these in Google Sheets and Google Sheets has a built-in tool to do that. So if you click the top of the column that you wanna sort, in this case, it is C2. So I'm gonna click the word listening because that's at the top of my column. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the shift key on my keyboard and click the last item on my column like so, and I'm gonna to go to data, sort sheet by column C, A through Z, so it's gonna alphabetize that column, and it will alphabetize my responses, and it will also change up those students as well. So I now have my pre-made groups. We've differentiated our class, and we have them into small groups, and now we can differentiate our lesson. One of my favorite ways to do it is using a choice board, and Google Sheets has you covered with this. So what I've done here is I've just created a couple of activities for my students. I've asked them to read this article. I've asked them to create an acrostic poem. I've asked them to draw a picture of vocabulary words they're studying. And then I've asked them to create a sequence chain using events from the story. And you'll notice that to the left of all of those activities, what I've done is I've put a box in where the students would click in order to show that they've completed those things. Now, if you wanna insert that check box, it's very easy. Just by going to insert and scrolling down, you'll see checkbox and you can insert as many check boxes as you'd like. Although I would suggest maybe highlighting a bunch and then copying and pasting them in. And if you want to include links to videos or to articles into your choice board, it's a very easy process as well. All you need to do is either highlight the space like so, or if you want to add a link or a video to a word, if you highlight that word, you can do that as well. But the process is the same for both. Simply going to insert, scrolling down until you see insert link, and then just paste in the link that you want to add and applies. We've come to the end of our lesson and it's time for us to assess what learning occurred. And we can do this really quickly and easily using Google Classroom. If you navigate to the marks or the grades tab in Google Classroom, you'll see a list of all of the assignments that you have assigned to the students over the course of the school year. If you click on an assignment, navigating over to the gear icon to the right, you can copy these marks to Google Sheets. I've generated all of my grading marks and my grades into this Google Sheet from my Google Classroom. And I want to take the data I've received by grading the student's assessment or assignments, and I want to sort that to see who's learned what, how well they learned it, and hopefully it can drive my instruction going forward. And you'll notice that it actually goes through averaging your class grade, which is kind of nice because then you can see over the course of a year, if you did an assignment or an assessment and it was lower, it was higher, how well you taught that or how well the students understood that, or is that worth going back to review? We're now sorted from lowest to highest. Now that we've seen some examples of how you can use differentiation in your lessons pre, during, and post those lessons, we can make sure that it happens during our next lesson. Thank you very much.